Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today, I want you to think about how you can't give someone understanding. We can give advice, we can give pieces of wisdom, we can give facts and data, we can give opinions, but we can't give understanding. We can't give somebody else the ability to see the things that we are presenting to them the same way that we do. And this is critical because there are a lot of interactions I've had over the years where people keep trying to present the data or information that helped them achieve a certain understanding. The idea is that if it was good enough for them, it should be good enough for everybody else, right? It's really tough to learn that other people don't operate the same way that you do. Uh, it was something that for me, and I still struggle with it, frankly, on a, on an embarrassingly frequent basis. Uh, you know, I will presume if I have done X, Y, and Z, then that should be enough, right? I have done my part. But the reality is that based on the feedback I get from the circumstances as things play out, what I did was good enough for me, but... Every, you know, people aren't a cone of me. They aren't a carbon copy. People are different. People have different life experiences, different ways of perceiving things, different frameworks through which they interpret data and information. And so when I come across someone that I disagree with, it can be a two-way road, that frustration, where they will provide uh, information and data that helped them come to a certain understanding and they'll try and provide that to me and can uh, at the same time be trying to do the same thing but in the opposite direction and it's really unfortunate because what ends up happening is that instead of being able to set ourselves aside for the moment and just exploring what somebody else understands really genuinely listening the common trend instead is to push oneself, to treat oneself as the standard for comparison, to interact with others as if whatever is good enough for you should be good enough for them as well, and to become dismissive or downright hostile when folks ask for or look for or respond in a way which is outside what was predicted. But we can't give understanding like that's that's not something that we give we again we, we can give things around understanding we can give things that we think might help with understanding but we can't give somebody else understanding unless we've gotten understanding about them unless we understand them better already you know not the topics not the specific discussion at hand but them who they are if we don't understand them, then we're not going to be able to give them any new understanding to deal with any certain topics or to address things that are going on in their life. So instead of just trying to understand a topic or, or even explore what somebody who you disagree with thinks, try and understand them. Not again. The the to the topic is always going to be there, but who they are is not necessarily so. Who they are is is distinct and unique. Now, there's a a small window for variation uh, on the grand scheme of things, but each person has something special about them, something that is about you know just about them, and seeking to understand them is never a waste of time. They may make it painful. They may view such acts as hostile, but seeking to understand them is the prerequisite to being able to ever giving them or trying to give them understanding. Because you're, you're still not really giving understanding. What you're giving them are more informed pieces of data, bits of stimulus and all that kind of stuff. You're, you're trying to use what they understand to, to bring them to a new spot. But again, if you don't know where they're at now, 
if you don't appreciate and understand where they're at now, you're not going to understand how to communicate with them effectively in the first place. So what I would encourage folks to do is stop trying to give understanding and stop trying to give bits of data, get, give and give and give. That's not magnanimous. It's not actually fighting selfishness because when all you're giving is of yourself, you know, people don't always want that. People don't want to be me or you. People want to be themselves. And so instead of giving them understanding and expecting them to do something with it, take understanding from them. Learn about who they are, why they think in a particular way. And then use that to leverage further understanding about who they are and what they are doing. Learn how to live next to people you disagree with without that being the end of the frickin' world. Because here's what happens. Here's what happens. When there is mutual understanding, when you understand them and they understand you, all of a sudden those differences look a lot smaller. The gap in understanding or belief or whatnot isn't so insurmountable any longer. Because it's not this unknown. It's not this fear of, well, you know, what else don't I know? Now you know who they are. Now, you know, as I've talked about before, this does come with a price. Uh, authenticity always costs intimacy. But it's worth it. And especially if you're somebody who has gathered lots of facts and data, you think you have a lot of right answers and so on and so forth. You know, if you want to help people, you know, don't start by giving them something. Start by gaining understanding first of them, letting that relationship develop, and then letting it see where it goes. Because here's the thing, they may ask you the question before you're ready to give an answer. They may ask you a question you were not preparing to answer. But if you know who they are, and if you understand them, and they understand you, then this unexpected conversation and interaction will be a joy it'll be a shared discovery instead of antagonism or hostility so listen learn grow in understanding even if you think you already understand all that you need because i can guarantee you don't understand enough about other people you don't understand enough about how they think how they behave and we could see that in all the things that are going on around us. There is a lack of understanding, a lack of knowing people and being known. And we got to fix that. And we don't do that through spouting facts, data, forcing other people to behave like us, to look like us, talk like us, think like us. It doesn't work that way. It's not an easy task, but it's worth doing. If you need help, let me know. I'll pray for you. I will listen. I will try to understand. And then from that, we can explore together what these different topics mean, where there might be areas of growth, where the problem is facts or data, or maybe it's just inexperience. The thoughts that we have in our head not maturing enough because they've never been exposed to the light. Either way, thank you for your time. Take care. Have a great Tuesday. God bless.